Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, James Griffith Outdoors. Now, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be hunting with my gear bag this year, and I'll be saddle hunting all year. Um, just give you a breakdown of what I've got. And if you would, just go ahead and like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. So let's get started. Uh, I'm just using a uh, regular old redhead pack and I, I keep my stand mounted to it with these straps. Makes it easy to carry in just a, a hawk stand. And as you see, it's just a small little day pack. And on the bottom, I keep my my hawk sticks and I keep all four of them bundled up and they, they work pretty good I hadn't had any problems out of them this year or last year and I've also got a uh, a trophy line saddle that I use. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing cranked down to where you can see the saddle. And I'll back up and, and uh, let you get an idea of what I got going on. It'll be just a minute maybe. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna just take this thing loose from the stand and I'll show you, it's just a, a trophy line, covert light. I've got two, two, uh, pouches on it. And then my right side, I just keep the, uh, I keep my lineman's belt. I keep it in there. And then of course, you know, hook on that side. Up. Got her backwards. On that hook, we got a twist lock on this side. And just got a little 550 cord tender with a Prusik. As you can see, it's one hand operational. So it makes it easier climbing the tree. And when I get done with the uh, Lyman's, once I get up to hunting height, I take it out, take it off the tree and I also keep my, in this same pouch, I keep my, my bowstring in there. That way I can, don't have to worry about it hanging all over the, the saddle and it gives me a better sense of security without it getting all hung up on something and making a lot of noise. But I just keep that dump pouch just for my linemans and uh, and my bowstring. And on the on my left side, I've got another dump pouch, and I keep my keep my tether in it. 
and it's basically the same setup. I just girth hitch around the pole or the tree and got a tender on it as well. But one of the things that I like the most is I've got this little, it's a ranger knot that I put on there. And when I get up to hunting height, I put my tether on, wrap it around the tree. And when you get to that ranger knot, it's not going anywhere. It slides up and down, whatever, whatever diameter your tree is, it'll go right there and it'll lock and it'll hold your, hold your tether to the tree without falling down as you're doing your adjustments. Just one of the things I picked up on YouTube and I can't remember who, who it was, I'd give them a shout out, but I just can't remember who it was that, that did the knots and I, I just followed along and made one myself for my gear. And once you get done with, and get ready to come back down the tree, of course that tether goes right back into the dump pouch. And what I use, let me pause for a minute. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I've hung my, my sis strap and uh, the bow hanger that I'm using is made by uh, Bayou Bow Medic. And it's a 3D printed and it's big enough, plenty big enough that I could leave my arrow rest uh, on the bow if I wanted to, but I like shooting without it. So I hang it on the other side of the sis strap just using S beaners and I hang my pack right on the on the his strap to where I can use it as a uh, knee pad that way I don't have to go out and wear knee pads to the tree and have them sweating all day I can just put my knees right there against the uh, pack and that makes it a whole lot easier to uh, to get in and out of the tree and and without causing too much sweat. Okay, uh, we've covered the bow hanger, the S beaners to hold the, the pack, and the, you can put as many in as you want to hold your uh, the binoculars and and everything as well. Whatever you want to take to the woods, you can hang off of it. Uh, but in reverse you do the same thing I uh, I just take my take my quiver off of the S beaner put it back on the bow and of course I hook my hook my rope up to it so that I can lower my bow down. I lower it to the ground. Take my pack off and I slide it on. Put it on to take the his strap loose. I get it loose fold it up nice neat little package and just wrap it up and if you had to you could just put it in your in your pocket if need be but I'll put it in the pocket of the of the pouch that way I know right where it's at and I've got it with me every time I go to the woods.
And then I put my strap back on. And of course you got your stand. I, uh, after I crawl down to my first step, I take and I pull my stand loose, lay it on the pack. myself up right there and lay it on the pack it's a lot easier when you're hanging from your tether and you're ready to getting ready to go down Everything's right there. And you've got it secured till you get down. And you climb back down the tree, gathering your gathering your steps up and I've got a uh, paracord on each one of them and I can just hang them on the S hook on my uh, on my saddle and that's pretty much the gear that I'm going to be hunting with this year I'm also going to try filming and hopefully I'll do a better job than I'm doing right now but I thank y'all for watching. Come back and see us. Again, like and subscribe. Thank you.